Hello everybody um, and thank you for joining me today. It has been a while since I last created a video. Um, just a lot of things has been going on and haven't got a chance to get back into it. But, but now I'm planning to create more videos and post more often. So let's jump into Excel. Um, here's a little template that I created on a spreadsheet. Um, pretty much here I'm going to show you how to do the minus and plus. Um, so yeah, let's let's jump into it. So here I have like a little coffee shop. Let's say you want to add how much uh, you made for the whole day. Here I broke it down into the mornings, afternoons, evenings. Um, here I'm going to show you how to come with the total for the whole day. There's three different ways you can do it. You can um, select them individually or just use a formula to just add them all. I'll show you how to enter them individually. So here, you would pretty much every formula starts with like the equal sign. So you have to press equal. And from here, you can select the first one. And then you put plus, second one, plus, the third one. And then you press enter. And then here it shows you how much you made for the whole day. And I'm just going to copy that formula so you guys can see it, so you guys don't have to pause the video and keep going back. And I'm just adding periods so you guys can see it, because without them, it would just go back to a thousand. Um, so don't put the periods. So that was the one way to do it. The second way that I like to do it is probably the quickest way to do it, is just um, pressing equal in sum for the brackets and then here you're going to select the three items and then your brackets again and you press enter and that gives you the same same amount i'm going to do the same thing copy it and the third way which is if you're new to excel is probably what you guys are going to be using the most um, the, mo the more you use Excel, I mean, the more familiar you're going to get with formulas and you're just going to know what you need to type and you're just going to move a lot quicker. Um, but mostly this is for the beginners. Um, you're going to let's erase the code. Instead of typing it, you're going to go to your tabs and search for the formula. So you're going to go formula. You're going to go to where it says math. And then it's pretty much almost at the bottom where the S. Where is it at? Sum. Here it is, sum. And then here is gonna a little window's gonna pop up, and it's pretty much just gonna ask you what you want to sum up. I'm gonna just erase that. I'm not sure what it was. I think it's the same one. Same thing. Select. You can select other ones if you wanted to. I'm, right now we're just gonna select that. You press OK, and then it gives you the amount. So that's that's pretty much the one way to add numbers on Excel. Let's, now I'm gonna show you how to minus. Here, let's, you want to see like how much you made the whole day profits. Um, so pretty much you're going to do how much you made in sales plus employees cost. Um, there's, there's, of course, more to running a business, but this is just two that I came up real quick just to show you guys. Um, so let's, let's see how much employees cost. Here, you're going to do the same thing. Equal sum brackets. Select the items brackets again and then enter and that will give you your total I'm just copy over here so you guys can see it now that we have this number we can um, mirror it if you just press press equal and click the box that will mirror it 250 same with the total and then here um, they don't have like a sum for minus so you would just select it in individually but you would start with the same thing equal select the first item i want to minus employee cost and there you go that's pretty much um that there it shows you how much you made profit your minus the employing costs by your total sales. 
And that's pretty much how you do like a little simple minus and plus. So I mean, there you have it. That's pretty much how you guys plus and minus on spreadsheet. It's pretty simple. Of course, I mean, depending on your job role or whatever you're doing, you might have to use this formula in different ways. But that's pretty much the simplest way I can put plus and minus on Excel. Please share and subscribe. I will be posting a lot more videos here in the near future. So uh, thank you again for joining me today. I hope to see you on my next video.